hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> So like when I was playing, if I was going to a football game or cricket game, like playing school, you could almost hear the other team. Oh, that's Barry Hanson, you know. And so much so that when I boxed, I had a couple of fights at Billericay Amateur Boxing Club. My dad actually changed my name without me knowing, so that I wouldn't get pasted. What did he change it to? He Hills. <laughs> so when I had my first fight at a gym show in Dagenham, they introduced me in the blue corner from Billericay. Eddie Hills. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it. It's only when I had my next fight, which was at Billericay, they introduced me again as Hills. And I went over to my old man after, I said, they keep calling me fucking Hills. He went, son, if they knew you were my son, you'd get an absolute pasty. Yeah. You no, know, because that, to those kids, that's that's why I wouldn't have, you know, one, I didn't have the ability, but two, I could have never made it as a fighter. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, you know what time it is don't you? It's helmet of the month time. Right. This week's helmet of the month, top 15, as voted by you the boxing fans hmm. right here we go here's the first here's the first one and i've been told not to put him in but because we're giving him air time but he's had the vote so if you get the votes you're in steffi bull number 15 for tweeting yourself on terry arthur's account because we all know you want her account tweeting yourself and having conversations on social media with yourself so all you hardcores go and look at Steffi Bull's Twitter feed and Terry Harper's and just look at the conversations that the, he's been having with himself totally embarrassing totally element of the month behavior but just scraped into 15th you just edged old Juggiers out Spencer Oliver so must be making a name for yourself Steffi because you didn't make a name for your Senate ring did you So Steffi Bull, Helmet at Month, Porky's Corner, number 15. In at number 14, and he should be number one every month. It's the haymaker, David Hay. David Hay's looking at getting people who are YouTubers, who've got big followings, and getting them to turn pro. Oh my God. There's no limit to this man's talent, talents, isn't there? What next? He'll be uh, he'll be training women fighters next if they do uh, numbers on YouTube, won't he? So, David Hay, we know what you are, don't we? You're in at number, you're in at number fourteen on Porky's Corner. All right, for Elmer of the Month. Hmm. The next one. This guy seems to be making the top fifteen every month Gareth A. Davis can I get that 25 minutes back of my life that I sat this morning watching that interview that you've just done with uh, Eddie Hills aka Eddie Hearn the 4-0 amateur boxer free by way of from Billericay ABA look Gareth what you do you go out and you get some salty water and you rinse it, you rinse your mouth out, then you get TCP and then you clean your teeth. That's what you do, Gareth, after the rimming that you've been doing of lately. Totally embarrassing, but Porky's Corner, Gareth A. Davis, number 13. So, in at number 12, Frank Smith from Matchroom. How are you doing, Frank? You've made it for number 12 because some of the screenshots that people are sending me of your tweets and some of the votes that you're getting, you, 
You've been getting off light lately, Frank. It's helmet behaviour. Sort it out, mate. You used to be all right. I know everybody calls you Richie Rich and that, Frank. And people suck up to you, but they only suck up to you because they want to get to Eddie. I get that all the time. People talk to me because they want to get to Dennis, don't they? But it's on a massive, massive scale. They're sucking up around you, Frank. And I think you're getting a little bit arrogant, Frank, and too big for your boots, but... It's like you once said to me, Frank, it's not real life, is it? I know it isn't, but Frank, stop being a helmet, because if you stop, you'll not get the votes from hardcore fans, will you, Frank? All right. So, Frank Smith from Matchroom, Mrs. Emily Eubank. <laughs> Frank, you're in at number 12. All right, mate? So, all the best, you helmet. In at number 11. It's Umar Ahmed, is it? Or Umar AFL Umar. I had to sit and watch an interview with Umar, with Daniel Dubois, and it was embarrassing. Umar's now become an expert on fighters and stuff like that, and, and what they should be doing, this and that. Stick to being a YouTuber, Umar. Stick to doing that. Don't start giving advice out about technical ability and strength and conditioning because I don't come out with stuff like that. And you know, it's and to see to see professional boxers agreeing and things like that, it's just embarrassing. Omar, you hold the camera just like the rest of us. You are not a trainer, you are not a strength and condition guy, you are not a nutritionist. Alright, just stick to that one man, stop being a helmet, otherwise you won't get the votes, would you kid? Alright, I mean, you, you nearly ended up making top 10 Umar, nearly, but nearly's not good enough. So Umar, IFL Umar, number 11, helmet of the month. In at, in at number 10, it's two people, Coogan Cassius and Big Gypsy John Fury. Now Coogan. You're going to get the votes because people are saying that you're putting constant Instagram videos out and stuff like that and thing, you know, constantly and it's getting a bit embarrassing now. You know, every time people are turning on the TVs, there's one minute videos that there's somebody else's video. It's just embarrassing, Coogan, and you need to sort yourself out. Plus, there's there's that carry on in the way Dillian and Mark Tibbs and things like that. A lot of people weren't happy about that, were they? A lot of boxing fans were. Anyway, I don't know what anybody who's got board licences thinks, but some of the emails I've had are shocking, mate. But So Coogan sort it out. But joint tenth with Coogan is John Fury. Uh, the 10 mile cross country runner. Uh, John, why are you going out on video saying that you're running 10 mile a day and things like that? We both know that that's not happening, don't we, John? We both know that. So, if you're doing 10 mile runs, John, I want to see it on f some footage. Because I don't believe it. And you know it didn't happen, John. So stop saying that you're running every morning, this and that. It's rubbish. Utter rubbish. You might be following Tyson in car while he does his run, but... God, please stop it stop it but the other reasons why John Fury has made it into top 10 well joint top 10 with Coogan is because he hasn't had a fight yet with Mickey Theo now there's talkers and the smoky bacon walkers John so get this fight on get it on and let's see it happen all right don't be a Steffi Bull not wanting to fight get it on John come on get it on with Mickey Theo you and Mickey for charity for a good cause all right so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing john fury and coogan but helmet at month top 10 for both of you <laughs> in at number nine hmm here's johnny it's always there in here or thereabouts johnny nelson I think Johnny just gets votes 
every month for Helmet of the Month just for being just for being Johnny Nelson but the re the main reason Johnny is going to cop it this month is for saying that Dylan White hasn't had his WBC title shot because he's black I mean I don't like to talk race on him because you, people try to call you racist don't they but Johnny came out with it you you mentioned it Johnny well Dylan White's not getting his chance because he's black Dylan White's had ample opportunities to fight for world titles you know that Johnny so stop pushing the country the, the, the company line and trying to be controversial Dylan White's not got a world title shot because he's knocked them back he's knocked millions of pounds back he's knocked Eliminators back with Pulev in Bulgaria. He's knocked Ortez back twice. He's knocked the Wilder fight back. So it's no good crying over spilt milk now that that boat might have sailed because you're all going to need Tyson Fury now, aren't you? So as far as I'm concerned, you need to give your head a sec. You need to give your head a shake, Johnny. All right, and stop being a helmet. Stop it, Johnny. Stop it. In at number eight, we've got Eddie Hearn, aka Eddie Hills. Hmm. What can we say about Edward John Hearn that's not already been said? The utter bull he's been coming out with this week is unbelievable. Utter. Take precautions. Eddie Chats, utter bull, and that's about it really. I mean, it's been pushing the old Eddie Hills 4 and 0 uh, amateur star again, Annie. Stop it, Eddie, please. But the main reason I've had to put Eddie in this month is because people have been going nuts in emails. Because Eddie's spun yet another story about him being a fast bowler for Essex Under-19 County Cricket Club. Now, didn't happen, never happened at all. Might have trained with him because his dad used to sponsor the club, didn't he? But, Eddie, it didn't happen. You was not steaming down your, your 24 pace run-up like Dennis Lilly. You are not Dennis Lilly, Eddie. You're not, but they just jump out your mouth, don't they? But what I want to know is, if Eddie played for Essex County Cricket Club, why it's not on their website and why nobody's saying, yeah, they come steaming down, all six foot five of him, when they were bowling bouncers around my ears, I had to duck or hook. I didn't know what to do with that fast. Eddie, if you were a fast bowler for Essex County Cricket Club under 19s, how come nobody's come forward and said, yeah, they played with you? Nobody. So, Eddie, come on. Send us some photos in. Let's see some footage. Come on, your dad's got his own production. Let's see some footage of that, and let's see some footage of you fighting as Eddie Hills. Stop it, Eddie Cost. I can't control myself laughing with this Essex under-19 under County Cricket Club opening fast bowler. Pony! I can't. The Eddie Hills one cracked me up because I, know, I do know somebody down there at Billy Ricky and Boxing Club and it didn't happen. But the, the cricket one, look, if fans can find it, go and look online. Eddie Hearn, under 19, opening fast bowler for Essex County Cricket Club. Alright, so it didn't happen, would not happen. So, in at number seven. <laughs> it's B! Could have been, could have been, should have been. Never been, baked bean, creepy bean, beanie. Where are the bodies buried, bean? Just hand yourself in, bean, to the nearest police station and take your laptop in as well. Because the net is closing in on people like you, bean! Least said the better, Adam Smith. Pound for pound, helmet of the month, number seven. You're there again, aren't you, Adam Smith? You are there again. In at number six, the two Daves. Joint sixth place with the same amount of votes. 
Dave Allen, aka the White Rhino. He's back on the scene, the White Rhino. Go on, Dave. Move your head though, Dave, from side to side. You know, like Mike Tyson. Do that, Dave. Don't just plod forward like that, taking shots. That way you have longevity. Uh, Dave Allen's had votes, and we all know why, don't we? He knocked the Huey Fury fight back, then slept on it, and then rung him up and said, I'll take that fight. But the boat sailed on it now, but even though Huey offered to give him 25 grand of his purse just so they could get it on! Dave, helmet behaviour. When you get an opportunity in boxing from Matchroom or Frank Warren, you take it with both hands, don't you? But you can't play poker with these people because people are queuing up, it's the middle of a pandemic. So whoever's advising you, Dave, well, it's bad advice, isn't it? But it is what it isn't. So Dave Allen, number six, the other guy, and he only got votes in the last week and a half, is Penfold, Dave Caldwell. Evening, Dave, how are you doing? Dave's had the votes for his flare up on Instagram. Uh, somebody sent me it. I thought it was quite funny, actually. I don't agree with people abusing you, Dave, on there. Especially when they hide behind, behind camera. I get it all day. Emails, sometimes on WhatsApp. Stuff that's so vile. <laughs> you know, stu stuff that's that bad, you'd be like, whoa, you need to save that and go to police. But look, as long as they're hiding behind keyboard, take it as a compliment, Dave, because a lot of people have a lot of things to say. Sometimes a lot of people have good things to say on social media, but they still don't want to let you see the face because the people, they're like double agents. What they do, they try and say something nice, Dave, to power you up to get stuff from you. That's what it is. But when they're playing out of booze on you, well, it's not good, is it? But Dave, you've had votes for your reaction because you lost it, mate, didn't you? You went into full gangster mode, but Dave, we both know that you're not a gangster, don't we? It ain't true, Dave. You're not. You're not a bad man. So don't bite, or you'll get helmet votes, Dave. All right. So it is what it is, isn't it? So all right. In at number five, ho oh, ho! It's Billy Joe Saunders. Billy's usually higher than that, aren't you, Bill? But I think that. I think that Billy Joe's had the votes for the simple reason. The simple reason is not the Canelo fight and he had like 10 weeks left to, to get ready for it. I mean, what is all that about? You've had a 15 grand fine front board. You should go take the fight. Get training and they might up the offer. But stay in shape, Billy. Don't don't peter your career away. But knocking a fight back with Canelo for $2 million is helmet behaviour, Billy. It's helmet behaviour, but... It, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So, in at number four, hmm, it's Sam Jones. <laughs> now, Sam, I hope this isn't you who sent me that email. But if it is, Sam, give me a call. I'll get you on channel. Pick up the phone. My number's not hard to get. Pick it or get my number off Richard Towers or Dennis. Any of them boys. And give me Mick Whale, Josh Whale, get my number off him and let's have you on channel, Sam. If you don't like uh, being weapon of the week. But the amount of interviews you've done it last month and how you're behaving, Sam. Some of the votes that you're getting now is off the charts. I mean, we should do a video called Off the Charts starring Sam Jones. Because the more I see you... Uh, on TV and internet, Sam, the more helmet behaviour that you're behaving. So, you voted number four. It is what it is. Take it on chin. If you've got a problem, Sam, come see me. All right. In at number three, Dylan White. Dylan White, you were always going to be in top three, weren't you, after what's gone on this month? Getting rid of your trainer that's gone 11 and 0, 5 KOs with you is shocking. So you're in bronze medal position, Dillian. Bronze medal position for Helmet of the Month. What sort of man as a trainer all them years and then gets rid of him via a solicitor? 
It's helmet behaviour, it's diva behaviour from a man who only has a vacant British title belt to his name off Ian Lewinson. That's it! You're not fought for a European, you've not world title fights back, you've knocked eliminators and final eliminators back, but yet you, you, you're sacking people via a solicitor. What's helmet behaviour? You need to remember where you come from, Dylan. Alright, I used to be a big fan of yours, mate, but I am off the Dylan White Express train. I think you're a coward, I think you're full of shit, and I think you don't want to fight anybody where you're going into a fight where you're not a favourite, and I think that Anthony Joshua took your soul that night when he beat you, and I think since then you've wanted to fight people where, you know, the 60-40 the, the fights in your favour, but what have you done since, who have you beat since then? Parker, that's your best win, life and death, so is what it is, but... I wish you all the best, Dillian, but that's helmet behaviour, isn't it? That? Getting lawyers to get rid of your trainer who's took you to 11 and 0. Trainer who's stopped in hotel room with, with you, training camps with you, dined with you, laughed with you, cried with you, joked with you, and all that. And then you get a, a lawyer involved. You should be ashamed, Dylan White. You got a problem? Pick up the phone, Dylan, or come see me. Hey, you don't bother me, mate. You're full of it. You're full of crap. So, is what it is. In at number two. Big Dosser Femi, aka the big weightlifter. <laughs> Anthony Joshua in at number two for the simple reason that forget all things that have gone on in the past. This month you just you made a fool of yourself, aren't you? This month you made a fool of yourself, especially with the tweet putting out, putting putting it out saying that Tyson Fury has not been tested yet for you not been tested he went to germany and beat vladimir what did you do with vladimir you waited while tyson softened him up and he was 18 months out at ring fought you in his 42nd year fought tyson in his 40th year fair enough he was 40 but he was in his 42nd year when you when you fought him so it is what it is isn't it and then he went, then he had a few years out, he overcome all what he said that he's overcome, you know, drug issues and depression and all that. And then went and did Wilder in America. You 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 refused the fight against Wilder for mega dough, mega dough, refused it. And that's basically it really. Why would you say that he's not been tested when... It's not like you, is it? You've had everything gifted you. You were gifted the Charlie Martin fight. You were gifted them two belts against Vladimir. How Vlad got to fight for them two belts? I don't know. Well, there were more belts, weren't there? There were your belt plus the WBA and the IBO, which were vacant at the time. What? I could never understand why Eddie Earn didn't push Otis to get that WBA. I don't know, but it is what it is, isn't it? Eddie Earn's played his part in it manoeuvring you behind the scenes and over choppy water just like the lottery funded place up there they manoeuvred you didn't they when it come to olympics i mean you only really beat the chinaman out of them four fights didn't you the other three were gifts so you've been gifted things all the time because you look the part you say all the right things do all the right things even when you were when you met tyson in marbella the other day i mean you even had your mask on didn't you because you knew it were going to be there were going to be a photograph. Totally embarrassing. Totally embarrassing. And all that black power stuff and driving around in convoys with your daft mate, aka Skins. You got a problem, Skins? Pick up the phone or come see me. You're all a pair of pla all a load of plant pots. A pair of plant pots, you and aka Skins, and all you and your little boys that you're running about with in your convoys. You you're not Floyd Mayweather, you're not 50 Cent or Kanye West or whoever, you're not a bad boy rapper, so what have you got convoys of people for, you're just a boxer, they used to knock drugs out and fill people in half your size, you're not special, get over yourself, so you're number two, helmet of the month, alright, but, and it's a big but, we know who number one is, don't we? We know who number one is, don't we? Hmm. 
It's Dominic Ingle, aka the White Flex Wheeler. It's in my head, the most worrying thing. Since I heard it, I've been walking down that corridor just singing it. Oh, it's taken over, there's no going back. It's never been so good, it's a hell of a crap. Dominic, what possesses you to get up in the morning and go, Today I'm going to write a song about Eddie Hearn called Looking for Fast Car Eddie. What planner are you on, Dominic Ingo? What, what, what planner is that? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. I don't get it. Why, why would you do that? What? I remember you, Dominic, when you used to work at Sainsbury's and you were walking around Meadow Hall with your walkie-talkie. You only used to guard sandwiches. It's not like you were at security at a nightclub in Sheffield like Johnny Nelson were. I mean, at least Johnny was a proper security guy, wasn't he? Stood down his black Nicholson leather. I mean, you were guarding sandwiches, Dominic, in your tight Sainsbury's top with your name there, Dominic. Sainsbury's, Dominic. You forget that, don't you, Dom? You forget where you come from. A lot of people forget where they come from, but the white flex wheeler is the helmet of the month for July 2020 on Porky's Corner. You finally arrived now, Dominic. You've got a single out. Oh my God. I'm even hearing about a nutrition book as well. Well, we know about your nutrition, don't we, Dominic? But that's another story, isn't it? But Dominic Ingle, you are Helmet of the Month, number one voted. You've smashed it, especially in the last four days since your singles come out. You have smashed it to bits. So, peace out, Dom. So let's count it down then, shall we? Steffi Bull, 15. David A, 14. Frank Smith 13, Gareth A. Davies 12, Umar 11, John Fury and Coogan 10, Johnny Nelson 9, Eddie Earn 8, Adam Smith 7, Dave Allen and Dave Colwell 6, Billy Joe 5, Sam Jones 4, Dylan White 3, Anthony Joshua 2, and Dominic Ingle, aka the White Flex Wheeler. <laughs> Dominic Ingle, the White. Flex Wheeler from Winkerbank, little Dominic, who used to work be a security guard at Sainsbury's, didn't you, Dom? Dominic, you forget to tell everybody that you used to guard the sandwiches at Sainsbury's and you're walking about with a walkie-talkie. Oh my God, Dominic! Come on, channel. We need you on channel, Dominic. I've got some questions for you, but the main question is this: When one of your fighters fails another dope test, that will be four fighters that have failed dope tests on your watch. Will you hand in your British Boxing Border Control license? That's what I want to know what Dominic. You helmet of the month for July 2020. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Dominic, you got a problem? Pick up the phone and come see me. Get my number off Dennis Hobson. Catch you if you can. And he's brash, he's in front of the game Never in the sense of twice on my say so babe. It's in my head, it's the most worrying thing Since I heard it, I've been walking down that corridor just singing it Oh, it's taken over, there's no going back It's never been so good, it's a hell of a crack But it's losing battle when you choose wealth and fame Hopes and dreams shattered, scattered, damaged brain He's fast, car ready Top of the pops ain't going anymore, is it? Otherwise, we would have been on there. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. 
because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com, all right? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>